What is going on guys, Chris Rudnick here, and if you can see my smile, this is a genuine smile right here. Do you know why? Because we are back in Florida. Yes, it's a little rainy. Yes, I was talking about crap about the UK always raining, and it is always raining in Florida, to be honest, but it's warm, 75 degrees out, and a short sleeve shirt, and we're at Harbor Freight. I told you when we got back home, we there was there was no time to sleep. We got up at 7.30 today. I already went to the DMV, I already re-registered my truck because I got a ticket for that. And now we are here at Harbor Freight because we need to pick up some tools. Um, last time we worked on the CRX, I was using this right here from the painter. And th this little thing, I mean, for 35 bucks, it did one hell of a job, man. Like I have a Mac sander and this, I mean, given this one's bigger, this one did way more work like way 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 more work and it honestly wasn't bad and for 35 bucks why not have it so we're just gonna go shopping in harbor freight real quick last time i was there i got this inside track club it was only 30 bucks for the year and the thing that i was buying what was i buying oh the big hydraulic press the hydraulic press i was buying it was like 30 dollars off if i signed up for this so i technically got it for free so we're gonna go get some deals and live better harbor freight so glad to be back in florida there she is look at this unit 35 bucks right here and you get the 25 percent off coupon dude this thing's cheap as hell i'm gonna get one of these bad girls too because i used one last time we were sanding and it actually was like kind of messed up and broken so i'm just gonna get a new one because this helped for like the nooks and crannies I'm gonna get this oil water separator as well because I noticed every time I was using like one of these sanders, over time it would get, it would like be spitting out water. So if I put this right before it, hopefully that will kind of take care of it. An old head garage member's favorite tool, self tappers. And check that out, hell yeah. Wow, that coupon code is actually no joke. So we started off with $205. I used a 20% discount. You just look it up on your phone, whatever. And then after that, I gave him the track card only 155 bucks we saved like 50 dollars off that unit now I, I paid five dollars for it not bad definitely get one not sponsored harbor freight if you want to pay me please we got a bunch of stuff though so pumped i really don't know how many times i'm going to say this but it's so good to be home we're at the shop i'm going to play a little catch-up game real just so we can start where we ended off as you guys know blast coatings we got our stuff back from the powder coater so we powder coat the valve cover white, the intake manifold black, the fuel rail black, and the bolts white, and it looks great. Now that we did that, we really need to work on the CRX, make it look great again, because you know, it's got some rust, the paint's really faded, it's, it, it's, it just wasn't good. So the banner told us to sand the whole car down to bare metal. Yes, it sucks, but we're doing it. We ended up doing the hood and the, and the fenders, and we ended up getting in primer before I left for the UK. Fenders are in there, hood's right there. I'm a little bummed because Someone that was using my shop must have like left this under like a car that was oily because you can see those marks. I don't, ooh, that scared me, that wind. I really think that matters because we're gonna have to sand this down anyways, reprimer it again. So hopefully all that dirt and grime doesn't matter. But so far, so good with the CRX. I don't really know if I wanna sand outside today just because it's a really crappy day. And if we're sanding the bare metal, I don't want to get caught in the rain. I definitely don't want to sand in here because once you sand in here, it's going to get out everywhere. You're never going to get it out. But the painter should be here in about half an hour. And I think he's going to let me use a spot in his shop. So that'll be good. While we're waiting for that, I need to figure out this car. Ooh, look how beautiful she is. I wish the front bumper was on, but last video we were here, we were mounting the intercooler and stuff. And that's looking good. We got most of the intercooler piping done. We're just gonna have to weld it and stuff, but it's all coming together. So when I took this car apart and put it back together, everything was fine. It ran good. I did a burnout. There was no oil leaks. And a few days after I came back, I was starting it, just letting it run. And I noticed there's a bunch of oil on the ground. I'm like, what the hell? So this thing's got like some major type of oil leak. I've tried to put it in the lift, tried to let it run for a little bit and I can't find it. Um, I'm thinking it has something to do with the oil pressure sensor or something underneath the intake manifold because it's a little wet. So while I'm waiting for the painter before we start that, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop this intake manifold off, kind of inspect everything, see if everything's tight and good and all of the way in. I really don't know. I have no idea where this is coming from, but if we wanna turbo this, the first thing we need to do is we need to fix that leak because it is bad. So let's just rip this thing apart. Well, about an hour later, we got this intake manifold off. Everything is so easy to do other than the bottom bolts. My wrists and my hands are too chody looking, so it was very difficult to get under there. Chris ended up just getting those bottom bolts out for me because chode life, you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. It's not looking too good. Like, 
I'm gonna redo this piece right here because that sees the oil. I'm gonna RTV just every single thing that sees oil, that possible leak. We did see this little return underneath it. The pan's a little wet. I don't know, man. It's, it's really hard to tell. Over there is really wet. Watch it be as easy as just the dipstick's a little out. That'd be a hell yeah moment. No, that thing's in there. I don't know. All I know is this thing's leaking really bad. I need to figure it out. I just wanted to get the intake manifold off right now to really take a look at it. I actually want to run home because I forgot that I had so many parts for this that are going to make the engine bay look so much better. So we're going to go get those right now. And I think Tommy just got to the shop. So we're going to talk to him about sanding this beast at his shop. Even though it hasn't rained once, I should have just started sanding him. Losing it. All right, guys, so I just stopped home to grab all this stuff. I think this wheel is going to be going in the NB today. This is a 340 mil Nardi with a white stitch. They're usually red stitch. They're usually 350 mil, but I've been saving this for a rainy day on my wall over here. I think it's finally time to start using it. Um, after high demand, I mean, people have been blowing my DMs up about junk banners. So I went ahead and I got a ton of junk banners made. So if you guys want one of these, it's gonna be in the description below, www.junkforless.net. And if you guys are new customers or if you're re reoccurring customers, I'm feeling like a generous guy today. We're gonna be doing 20% off the entire store. All you have to use is the, co the coupon code JUNK20 and it will give 20% off of your purchase. We got more GTRs, we got more blueberries, we got more red berries, so get on it and I'll probably run that code for a few days. All right guys, so I'm getting a little distracted today. I'm not gonna lie, but it's okay because the office comes out that much better every single time I get distracted. So I added some Hot Wheels to the collection. I've been collecting these for like, uh, like a month and a half now. Chris just brought some for me like this one. This one's super cool, this Integra. Um, he got this CRX. Someone just bought a junk banner. Thank you, whoever that was. You know what? I'm going to give you a shout out. Lucas F. Thank you for that. I almost just showed your address. But anyways, yeah, I've been playing with Hot Wheels for the past hour. I know, stupid. But we got some packages for the Miata. I'm super pumped on it. I told you guys I wanted to use this, the 340 Nardi, but I don't think I'm going to just because I like this wheel so much and I don't want to get it damaged. I might use this Momo. It's a little deeper. I like it. I thought... I ordered the big hub that doesn't really need the quick release, but I guess I ordered the short hub. That's kind of annoying. I wanted the bigger hub so I didn't have to run a quick release, but I think with the deep wheel, I think we're gonna be all right. Um, I got this rear cowl. I think I got this from Moss Miata. I ordered the front radiator cowl as well, but I guess that hasn't come in yet, which is kind of annoying. So I want to install that. I got this shift boot holder for the MB. I got the shift boot right here. And at first, I thought this was drugs. Like, to be completely honest, like, look at this. this. I just got a package with this, and honestly, my heart dropped. I'm like, oh my god, who sent me this? But this is just clips for the CRX because we broke them. Before we work on the CRX, I just want to get this stuff done. I don't, I don't want to do the steering wheel today. I'm still indecisive if I want to do a steering wheel because I really like the stock one, as weird as that sounds, but I don't know. I just bought this just in case I changed my mind, but I really want to do this cowl. Hold on, I just, for, for all the Hot Wheels fans out there, I just want you to take a second and appreciate this wall. This is like the, the wall of fame right here, man. It just looks so good. I'll give you guys a little pan. The people that don't care about Hot Wheels are probably disliking this video right now, but S2000s, 180s, RX-7s, like, come on. Like, these are so sick. I got a lot of goodies. A lot, a lot of goodies. All right, I'm done, sorry. So that cowl piece is actually for back here. Um, I like it because you don't see any of this anymore. Nothing can get under here, like all these dick leaves and all of that stuff. So it's cool. I don't think I love the chrome. I think later on I might end up just scratching her up and painting it black, but I'm going to keep it chrome for now. But we just need to pop off this piece. We probably need to pop off this piece as well in the wiper. So I'm just going to do that real quick and then figure out how to do this. Look at this haggardness electrical tape. Oh my God, it's so brittle. Look at that. This is Harbor Freight special electrical tape. I love how it was just talking them up beginning of the video. Now I'm just shitting on them. All right, dude, come on. This is crazy, huh? Electrical tape shouldn't do this. It really shouldn't. Pop these bad mama jamas off. Ugh. Oh, it, dude. <laughs> it came off really easy once I said that. The UK was fun and all, but to actually have the right tools to get things out. I don't even know if this is the right tool, but this is the... Come on, dude. Oh, my God. 
I did, oh, no, I didn't break it. It's all right. But yeah, we need to get all these out. You get the point. We're almost there. Hopefully this piece doesn't have to be put back on because it was cracked here. No, I didn't do it. Oh my, whoa, <laughs> What a piece of shit. You dude, you fucked you me. All right, lift that up. Oh, oh, yeah, this piece is definitely gonna have to go back on. It's all brittled to hell. Jesus, did they use enough screws for this one panel? One, two, three, four, five, six. And a clip. Seven, damn it. All right, so now that that piece is off, and I think it was like kind of covering over the blower, we're just gonna vacuum out all these leaves and stuff, clean it up, so I know in my mind she's nice and clean under here. Hey, it's some more vacuum cleaning. If I didn't know any better, I'd say I'm as good as Aiden right now. Look at how clean this thing is. Shout out to anyone that knows Aiden. You know what? His Instagram's right here. Give him a little shout out now, but you know, Aiden does everything right. I kind of cheat a little. As you can see, there's a little dirt and grime down there, but it's all right. You're never going to see this ever again. We got the cowl all um, bolted up, so we're going to place it right here. We actually looked up the directions, believe it or not, because we we're kind of lost, which is sad, but no, that's got to go under now. Yeah, that looks money. And now we're gonna put these two bolts in and then, yeah, we're just winging this. <laughs> the cowl is pretty much done and the real Marcus Parks just showed up. Dude, you just shaved your head, didn't you? You buffed it, waxed it or something, yeah. your forehead's really shiny from here. I shaved it, shaved it like two weeks ago. Yeah, so I got a question for you and I'll, you gotta answer it honestly. Have you gotten hurt since I've been gone? Hurricane Rod not careful. Ben Franklin needs it now. I think so. You have gotten hurt. Probably. What's on your nose? That looks oh, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yep. what is that? Let me see it. What? I'm doing a timing belt and I hit my face on like the back cover. <laughs> Marcus always has the funny... What is that? Z oh, it's Z brackets. Oh, dude, honestly, I thought that was for me. What? <laughs> I was so greedy. And I'm like, yo, you brought me something. So Marcus took over the bride seats from the Miata. He I'm got some. To, I'm trying to turn this thing around and make it actually look like a cool car. I think it's looking pretty good, dude. It is. The buff is still, the, the, the swirl is real on the hood. Did you do the swirl? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, dude, it looks like a bunch of waves. I know. Alex says it's called holograms. Yeah. I'm screwed. Yeah, my 135 looked like that at one point, but I think he could fix that pretty easily. Yeah, Alex is going to definitely detail his yeah. shell. I'm excited for them to see what you're doing to this soon. I know. <laughs> there, there's some big changes coming to this car. It's it's still gonna be black, but there's still there's gonna be some aesthetics to it. Yeah. I can't stop looking at the thing in your nose. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you, so you, you hit it on the valve cover. Uh, on like the, the little, the timing cover pieces. Oh, okay. How close were you to it? I was trying to take off the um, fan clutch yeah. and I pushed down and I... <laughs> You can throw it on the comments if you're not laughing, because I, I don't know, I think that's funny. But what do you think you of the cowl? You can't make this stuff up. You dude. really can't. It looks good. I don't know how I feel about like the chrome. I It, it doesn't look bad though. I, I need to see it with this piece on top of it and yeah. everything. Yeah. But so far so good. We had to read the directions because we're a bunch of a-holes. At first we were trying to like put it piece by piece. As soon as we pulled the directions, everything made sense. We didn't even think it was for this car. <laughs> we were like, is this for an NA, but it's for a uh, 90 to 2005. So that's cool. We're going to finish this up and we'll show you. I, Marks is more addicted than I am. Look at all these red. So you have two a day. I had two today. Dude, the Marcus counter is going to get like seriously hurt with like a heart attack or something. No. no. What do you mean? No. Two a day is we not good. Go we do got to go back to the gym. So me and my mom, we're going to the Swiss Alps, Switzerland, and she wants to do a 100 mile hike in 12 days. I, I'm a little chubby right now, I'm not gonna lie. So I need to go to the gym, we need to do the stairs, we need to do a lot of physical activity to be able to do that because right now, I get tired from walking. All right guys, well the cowl is finally done. It's looking good. 
took like an hour and a half because we we're a bunch of a-holes and we didn't well we, we're missing a bolt we lost a nut marcus is actually going to get the nuts right now because he had to get something for his 180 but the cow looks pretty good i just have to clean it up looks a lot better than stock and just look at that freaking tarp the window doesn't roll up that's why it's tarped but it looks a lot better than having that just that gaping hole in it so i'm pretty stoked on it, it was only 100 bucks so it's not too big of a deal um a subscriber <laughs> sent me these chips and I want to play a prank on Marcus, but at the same time, I feel really bad. Just, just look at these. So somebody sent these to HP Logic, the world's hottest corn chips. And it literally says, do not consume on an empty stomach. And all these like crazy, like if you have like a cardiac condition and all this stuff. And he said, Chris, long time OG Rice and Miata from Australia. I dare you to eat these in a video. Share with Marcus, Jack, Roberto, and Carlos. Do it for the boys. Then do a skid for the boys. Ethan. Well, thank you, Ethan. I don't even know if I want to thank you, but this, this this is my plan right now. We got a bag of chips, right? And I was gonna tell Marcus, like, I'll give you 20 bucks if you can eat this bag in under a minute. We were gonna put one of these hot chips in it and just, and just see what happens. All right, guys, so Marcus just got back from Lowe's. And honestly, I've been putting a lot of thought into this and I can't prank him with that just because I licked the chip and they are so freaking hot. I'm just gonna give them the offer like, dude, I'll give you 20 bucks to eat three chips right now. They're hot, so let's see if you can do it. So I'm just gonna go up to him with 20 bucks because at least he'll know what he's getting himself into rather than me lying to him and then him kind of getting his rest of the night ruined. So let's do it. Oh, Marcus is all pumped. Dude, I got a present for you. Do you? Yeah. So first off, I have $20 for you if you eat three chips. I don't wanna eat those hot ass fucking Come on, chips. three chips. Dude, these are, I'm gonna kill my. <laughs> I'll throw There's... in the 20 if you eat one. Wh one? I said three. If you eat one whole one, I'll throw in the 20. How about 40 for three? There is a nuclear symbol on the box. $40 for three of them. 40 bucks. I'm gonna shit my brains out. 40 bucks, dude. You know who you can do that? Who? <laughs> Brat. No. He actually won't even eat it because it's too spicy. I want you to do it. $40? Dan, you do it. Hell right, no. Alright, 40, right, 40, 40 I'll do 40 for one. Do 40 bucks for a chip. 40 fucking dollars for 10. When does my life end? <laughs> I picked the chip though. For 40 bucks, I'm picking the damn chip. I know you're gonna pick the one with the most <laughs> Are you in? Maybe later. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta, I don't want to be sitting on the toilet and running to the bathroom every five seconds. No, it, it, that doesn't happen until like six hours after. Trust me, I know. Uh, how many did you eat? Oh, I have any. I licked one and my mouth burned for like 10 minutes. Uh, okay. But this seat looks pretty good. You want to get out so I can see it? No. So you don't want to eat the chip? Not at this point. Dude, that fabric didn't do shit, huh? I know. It literally did nothing. I'm honestly really <laughs> upset. But the thing is, is that now that I'm putting in the seats and the brackets and everything, I can just sell these ones and mm -hmm. get like another set of fake brides for cheap for right now. Yeah. And then it will still work. But the they're thing gonna do I'm, the job though. The thing that I'm doing is a lot more involved than what Alex did. So these seats, this setup is actually gonna work. Well, you spent good money on these brackets, right? Nah. Oh, how much were they? 60 bucks. Oh, that's not, we're bold? Yeah. That's actually pretty, that's why you were hacking them over there. I heard a drill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I drilled out holes because you're supposed to have sliders on them. Yeah. But I just want my seats fixed for right now. So the key, the thing is, is that the drivers is gonna always be fixed, but the mm -hmm. passengers is not. This one is gonna be the one that's gonna be able to slide up so somebody can get it back. Yeah, that's sick. So. Honestly though, other than it being a different color than what's supposed to be, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, like I watch, like, watch. Yeah, no, it looks pretty good. I like the bride seat in the car. Like the the seat itself inside yeah. this car looks sick. Yeah. So that's good. So, Are you gonna eat a chip now? <laughs> dude, you really want me to eat this? Forty bucks, dude. Just do it. Forty bucks for a chip. Just do it. Do not consume. It says right on the box. Well, do not no, consume. If, if you have on an empty stomach. I'm pretty empty stomach. No, no, no. And you don't have a cardiac condition. You're, you like spicy food. You put hot sauce in your hamburger. I have other medical conditions. Wait, what? I'm mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> Injury counters it like two weeks or some shit. Yeah, he hurt his nose. <laughs> that, that still gets me. Bro, I got blood from his stupid NA Miata. <laughs> so, is it a no to the chip right now? No to the chip. 
Bro. If we get 5,000 likes in this video, Marcus will eat the chip. Yeah, 5,000. He said, yeah, it's just, just, no, no, 5,000. I think it's fair. They're going to hit 5,000 within the first hour. No, they won't. They definitely, I don't even think, I'll, no. 5,000 likes on this video. Mark's going to eat the chip and screw it. I'm going to eat it with him, and then we're just going to cry together. So it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good old day like Will screaming across yeah. the road. <laughs> it's going to be a good old day of sitting on the toilet, burning your butthole off. But anyways, we're finally doing the CRX. We were going to do it in the body shop, but honestly, it hasn't even rained at all today. We should have... Yeah, we should have started this a long time ago, but we're starting it now, and I guess that's all that matters. I think, yeah, I think we're going to end the video right here, though. It's pretty long, and it's already 8.30, and I want to be able to get this up without going home. The internet's not the best at the shop, so it's going to take me a few hours to upload this. Like I said, guys, hit the thumbs up on this video so me and Marcus can cry together. I think that will be a good laugh. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Don't forget to go down in the description below. Get yourself some junk merch. Get yourself a junk banner. Remember, Junk20 gets you 20% off anything on the website and 20% off your entire purchase. So, you're welcome. Peace. That damn wind.